Okay, so take a moment to read this problem and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so with radians, there's lots of conversion problems and things, but I like a problem that reminds us about the intuition of what a radian really is. So in this problem, we've got a circle and we're told that the radius is 16 inches. And the, the wheel rolls a, a small distance, which is one inch. Now, when the wheel is rolling along the ground, that's representing a portion of the, the arc of the circle. If the circle rolls the full arc, the, that full arc right there, the distance on the ground would be one, two, three, right here, uh, the circumference, right? So the circumference would be the distance of the wheel in one roll. This is the idea, right? And that's uh, circumference equals two pi times the radius. And that's the same distance as going around this arc. So there's this connection here, right? But what if we only rolled one inch? What would that mean? So you might be inclined, let's say this is one inch right there. You might be inclined to start calculating this, but just think about the intuition. If, if, if the wheel rolled 16 inches, that's the distance of one radius, right? Let's say it did that, 16, right down there. That's one radius. And I realize now that my, my graph is, my sketch is off because the circumference should be six of these about, right? Three, four, five, maybe here. Circumference is about six radii, a little bit more than that. That looks better. If, you, if the wheel rolls 16 inches, that's one radius, literally. One radius, that's one radian. So if you went 16 inches, that would equal one radius or one radian. That's the same idea. So if you only rolled one inch, well, that's one out of 16 radians because it's one sixteenth of the radiant, radius. That's the idea. Here. That's the intuition. And that carries into a lot of these types of problems. All right. I hope that helps.